hello guys so yes after many days again i have come here in front of you with another aptitude topic partnership so this was completely on demand most of the people they were saying that sir uh, almost all 70 to 80 percent of the companies they are asking aptitude questions in those aptitude questions one of the frequently asked chapter is partnership so when will you come up with this topic many people based on that now finally we are here we are uh, going with this chapter partnership see these questions very very ser seriously i'm telling you if you read this question no, you will feel like you can easily do it but actually it is not like that there is a small like uh, like minute logical thinking is there so if you are completely into that logic you know that you can easily solve any questions out on this chapter okay that is very important now let us see what are those topics here test so directly i will not waste the time so in partnership basically there are four type of questions are there okay so first one so that depends on which category of question it is so four categories are there so in that first category is what you know so imagine that two people are there okay person a and the other person is uh, b okay these two people enter into partnership okay now they, they, they together invest some amount and they are going to uh, you know start business in that category one so what is this both invest same amount in the business what is that they both invest same amount in the business but for the same time also this is first category so example i will tell you now so what is the first one they will invest same amount for the same time so let us take an example so there is there is a person a okay there is a person b imagine that they both uh, came into you know partnership and they started a business together a invested 50000 amount how much 50000 amount you imagine so B also invested 50,000 amount because the category is what you tell me same amount for the same time period. Okay. A also invested 50,000. B also invested uh, 50,000. And you know, after one year, what you tell me after one year, they got a profit of what you tell me they got a profit of, uh, let us take, you know, uh, two lakhs how much how much how much two lakhs now you tell me profit is how much two lakhs in that two lakhs profit how much should be given to a and how much should be given to b how they have to share yes you are right perfect seriously yes what is that for a also one lakh for b also one lakh it's very easy now yes it is very very easy how because they both are investing for the see both are investing same amount and both are investing for the same time period what is that uh, one year is it clear now so directly directly what i'm trying to say here it is when both the people say uh, invest the same amount for the same time for the same time what is going to happen you know so profit will be shared equally profit will be shared equally that is very important now this is first category did you understand now what i'm saying trying to say now here it is because both the people investing the same amount for the same time period that is one year so half half amount that means equally that means, uh, half of the profit will be given to a and half of the profit will be given to b this is what first category okay so this is okay now second category let us come now what is that second category second category you see they invest different amounts so different amount they are going to invest but for the same time period same time this is second category so let us go with an example again so a is there b is there so let us take a invest 30000 in a business how much 30000 b invest 50000 okay very simple what is that a invest 30000 and uh, b invest 50000 now imagine so after one year what happened after one year they got a profit of they got a profit of let us take let us say two lakhs how much two lakhs they got the profit now be very careful and answer should i give them equally in the profit yes yes sir i said your answer is yes 
that means you said no no <laughs> correct it is so now you understand what i am saying here it is it should not be should i is it you tell you only tell me a invested only 30000 and b invested 50000 is it fair that i have to give 1 lakh to a and 1 lakh to b no it is not fair no why because b invested more compared to a so now you got to know that investment also matters here not only the time though both they invest for the same time but the investing amount is what you tell me different so now what will you do now your mind is saying that share the profit according to their investments yes sir no perfect what you are saying is see a is investing 30000 rupees and b is investing 50000 rupees what you do you take the ratio of it so four zeros cancel four zeros cancel 3 is to 5 that means profit share should be done based on this ratio why sir because investments are different are you understanding now what i am saying here it is so this is second category where they will invest for the same time period but with the different amount based on the in amount ratio or investment ratio invest ment ratio based on the investment ratio what do you tell me amount will be distributed or profit will be shared among them okay this is second category okay now let us see third category can you able to guess what will be the third category perfect what will be the third category now see here third category comes i have to change the pen also here okay right so here we go third category what comes see here same amount different amount now again i will take same amount only okay they will both will invest same amount but now for the different time not for the same time now they are going to invest for the different time sir give me an example sir okay so a b now a is going to invest 50000 again same as it is and b is also going to invest 50000 same as it is but now you be very careful what did i say they are going to invest for different time a invested for 6 months and b invested for 12 months a invested for 6 months and b invested for 12 months okay now after 12 months after one year nothing but 12 months only now so after one year what happened they made a profit of uh, profit of they made a profit of what do you tell me uh, let us say 2 uh, lakhs 2 lakhs huh? so it no 2 lakhs now for you ratio should be easy for calculation purpose so 3 lakhs you imagine they made a profit of 3 lakhs so now you tell me how much should be given to a and how much should be given to b equal a eh why not equal apa why not equal because a also invested 50000 b also invested 50000 no both are invested same only no then why i can't give 1.5 lakhs 1.5 lakhs what is the problem then oh ho time different ah very nice you are perfect what is that sir both they have invested same amount only no problem in that but the problem is they are investing for the different time are you understanding what i am saying here now now what will you do you will take the ratio of time are you understanding time ratio so a invested for 6 months and uh, b invested for 12 months so ratio of 6 and 12 is going to be 1 is to 2 so profit should be shared according to this ratio that means in this 3 lakhs 1 is to 2 ratio means what two parts observe observe now two parts for b and one part for a so out of 3 lakhs 2 lakhs should be given to b and 1 lakh should be given to a fantastic you are perfect that is what i was expecting now fantastic super so now what we understood here what we understood so profit share is not only depends on profit share is not only depends on how much amount you invest 
but also depends on but also depends on how long you are going to invest that is very very important now for the third case you have to go with the time ratio time ratio fantastic did you understand what i am saying here it is okay these three points are over then let us go with the fourth one where is it fourth point now super fourth point here we go fourth point what is that now see same amount same time different amount same time same amount different time now you guess what is the last combination fantastic what is that different amount different amount they are going to invest for the different time now what will you do different amount different time same example i will give you now so now person a is there okay person uh, b is there i don't understand what i'm saying it is so a is going to invest uh, let us take uh, 30000 and b is going to invest uh, 50000 i don't understand what i'm saying it is now and a is going to invest for let us take a is going to invest for six months and b is going to invest for 12 months are you understanding now what i'm saying it is so done so now after this they made after 12 months after one uh, one year also i can say after one year they made a profit of 13 lakhs they made a profit of 13 lakhs now you tell me how this 13 lakhs should be distributed so very seriously and this is where you have to analyze before you answer fantastic question it is why because investment different time is also different this is very important come on this time we observe now this time see because investments are also different so you have to take investment ratio that is 30,000 is to 50,000 as well as time is also different now observe very carefully time is also different means time also should take into 6 months into 12 months so this is going to be the this is going to be the profit share ratio this is going to be what you tell me profit share ratio now let us calculate what is this so four zeros and four zeros gets cancelled six one time six two times i can say three into one is three is two five into two is ten so profit should be shared in the ratio three is to ten that means 10 parts observe now 10 parts should be given to b and three parts should be given to a that means in 13 lakhs 3 lakhs should be given to a and uh, yes 10 lakhs should be given to b is it clear now only these four combinations are there if you know this you are perfect in partnership did you understand now so let us stop here with this concept let us go with the part two where we will discuss one more small topic is there what is that active partner and sleeping partner is there so that we will see in second part and after that we will directly jump into problems and we are going to solve all those okay i hope this everybody understood remember these four points thank you so much keep smiling have a great day if you are not happy understand that is your problem don't blame others thank you so much guys uh, again we will meet with different topic thank you so much we will wait for the second part now lay don't go here and there <laughs> wait for the second part thank you guys